Jeff tonight, NBA playoff action continues. It's game two of the Western Conference semifinals. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said, it's an honor, but he added, scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, hitting block shots and things of that nature, always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. DA, thank you. Here are the five for the Clippers. The two stars, George and Leonard, fill up the forward slots. Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. And it's Harrell in at the center. And for the Lakers, Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo in at the point guard. So the Clippers win the tip. Here's Leonard. And it's good off the back rim and in. Leonard's got the opening basket of the game for the Clippers. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. From inside, out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. And so here are the Clippers. And George kicks to here. Entered on the wing. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Oh, it's not easy trying to guard Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now here's Green. Here's Davis. No good that time. Great D that time from Harold. Leonard the pass to George. A fader. And it's Leonard missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Passes it to LeBron. Cloak loose. Williams with the steal. Little over a minute 30 into this first quarter. A floater. Count it. Boy, for a pint sized guy. Williams can absorb a lot of contact. Torches his man there. James against George. Here's Davis. Over Harrell. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Yeah, early on, three misses to open the game. Their offense right now still trying to find its way. George dishes to Harrell. Pass to Leonard. Clippers moving the ball around. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. And it's Beverly missing. Lakers trail by six. Now LeBron. The pass to Davis. And the Lakers get it back. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And George gets time it to out, go. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offense. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
The Lakers making a switch here. Cousins is checked in. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Lakers. Looking for the first basket of the game. James in the post. Defended by George. Can't cash in from close range. And here are the Clippers. Good momentum. Eight straight points. The dish to Williams. Fires from deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Williams has got five points so far. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. Now here's James. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Buries it from three-point range. That's the competitive fire that burns with LeBron James. He's happy to come right back with one of his own. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. JaVale McGee's checked in for Anthony Davis. Contavious called Will Pope comes in for James. And Bradley subbed in for Danny Green. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubats is checked in for Montrez Harris. Green comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Landry Shamit's checked in for Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. Now here's Bradley. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Giving up too many open shots. I mean, that's what's happening here, Greg. They, they look to me to be a bit sluggish. He throw good, Livingston. There's 138 left in the first. Cousins, the pass to Rondo. And the rejection by Zubats. George looking over the floor. Zubats kicks to Green. Rebound by JaVale McGee. Lakers trail by 11. Rondo passes to Cousins. And when you're open, Rondo finds you. Always has his head on a slip. Livingston with it. Now guarded by Caldwell Pope. Livingston, that's good. Livingston's got five points so far. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that. If you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Lakers shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And Rondo, no good on that one. And when engaged, Rondo is special. A, a triple-double threat who does a little bit of everything for his squad. Livingston passes to George. Shot clock at five. Here's Zubats. Excellent D that time there from McGee. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Here's Rondo. It is now to Cousins. Oh! Yes, sir! Come on! Bring it! And Cousins, at his size, able to handle and finish like a guard. Very nimble in the pick and roll. 
And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. Their defensive mindset clearly focused on clamping down on LeBron James, and their game plan is working. We come back right after this. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Here's Cousins. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. And the Clippers looking at who they've got. Shannon and George at the two and the three. Ivica Zubac is out there with Green and Livingston in at the point. George with the bucket. George has got his second bucket of the night. And George really good at recognizing his fast break opportunities and scorching, torching the defense with his speed and athleticism in transition. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Clippers? A lot of success from mid-range so far for them, guys. If nothing else works, they can always fall back on the jump shot. Take a break. And, and a also break. defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. That free throw, no good. This is where we see Cousins a lot. He's always up there among the lead leaders in free throw attempts. It's so hard to handle in the post. The D just never knows what to do with him. And the second free throw, good. Here's Livingston. He's got five. Pass to Zubats. Back to Livingston. Outside, George shoots over Kuzma. And there's Paul George on the assist by Livingston. George has got his third basket of the night. Lakers trail by 10. Bradley passes to Kuzma. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Boy, that's exactly the kind of strength Kuzma has to show, guys. I mean, take that contact, expect it, and still be able to convert. You've got to do that at this level. And he gets it back. And it's George missing. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just uh, against his constitution. Oh, and this is some serious showmanship. Loving that tomahawk right there. Craig, he came with force. And that's not just about getting two points. That was sending, I think, a message. Well said, because it really could shift momentum here. I mean, the energy you see from the guys on the bench, when they get pumped up like that, I think everybody gets pumped up. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. some changes. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for JaVale McGee. James comes in for DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Green in for Bradley. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Kawhi Leonard comes in for George. Lou Williams is checked in for Landry Shannon, and it's Patrick Beverly in for Sean Livingston. Now here's Williams after LeBron James's miss. Floats one. Kuzma pulls it in. Will Pope up top. Passes to LeBron. Over Beverly. Yep, it goes. And the Clipper lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from James. You know, for LeBron, I think that mid-range shot is an important one for him to have in his bag. It keeps the defense honest. And it goes out of bounds. That one's off Kuzma.
And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Leonard, no luck. And so James will bring it up with the Lakers. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. Yeah, and, and that one, they caused a lot of misfires with their intensity on the defensive end. And the hustle they showed on that end was, was infectious, contagious. I mean, their squad really got after it. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Pass to Davis. To the paint. Here's Caldwell Pope. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Yeah, rising up well to finish off the dunk with power. Tremendous athleticism by Contavious. Caldwell Pope. KCP. Now here's one. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Leonard's got six points. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's James, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And the Clippers get called for the foul. Well, there are only a handful of players who've been on the line more often than LeBron, and no surprise, every one of them, a Hall of Famer. That's where he's headed Shoot to. Two. The first free throw is good. Now John Rondo's checked in for the Lakers. Both shots good from the strike. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Yeah, I like everything you said there, because when all else fails, if you can get to the strike, that's really a good way to change the momentum in the game, because you get points, and you also slow down the opponent because the game isn't going up and down as much. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. And the Clippers call time here. Clippers have gone 4 of 10 in the second quarter from the field. LeBron against Leonard. Will not drop. He's shooting 3 for 8 and not happy about it. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. JaVale McGee's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Zubats is checked in for the Clippers. The Clippers in the lead. Kicks to Williams. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. Going right at that defender. Williams plays off contact. Manages to keep control. Count it up. Cash money. Now here is McGee. No points in the game yet for him. Rondo passes to Davis, and he makes that one. Rondo with the nice dish. The Clippers have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Bounce pass from Beverly. Fades away. A rebound by the Lakers. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Rondo scanning the floor. Here's McGee. It's good. This game is all even. 
Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Kawhi, you have grown so much offensively throughout your career. What's the focus of that end of the floor? Uh, you know, just knocking out open shots, uh, my ball handling, making good decisions, off the pick and roll, and just try to limit my turnovers. And you've done well so far, Kawhi. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Taking a look at the Lakers, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? The thing I like was how they were making a conscious effort to work the ball inside. They should do the same in the second half. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Whether running the offense through the post, driving it, doesn't matter. Get to the rim and the rest will take care of itself. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. I was surprised at how comfortable they seemed here on the road. The hostile crowd, that didn't bother them at all. And I want to see if they can keep that up in the second half. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. We welcome you back to 2K Sports coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Without question, George is playing his skills today. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. Welcome back, everyone. We hope everyone is enjoying their Cinco de Mayo as we get back into NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. And it's Rondo in at the one. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. You know, when Beverly plays with that kind of energy, it's infectious. Sprinting the floor like that, an example of that energy. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Here's James. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got four assists in the game. And so George will bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, you really have to like how George uses his body effectively down low there. I mean, the defense pretty much has no choice but to foul him in that situation. The Clippers have made their Shoot only two. other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. They throw good, Paul George. And if you want to talk about the best two-way players in the NBA, George's name would be high on the list for sure. I mean, that's the kind of presence he has at both ends of the court. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for the Lakers. And George drops them both. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when your bigs can knock them down from the line. Rondo finds James. That shot off the mark. The Clippers go the other way with it. Here's George. Here's Leonard. Lays it up and banks it in. Leonard's got eight. That's three of four here to start the half. Cousins, the pass to LeBron. From deep. That shot misses. 
Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And Kuzma with the basket on the assist by Rondo. Rondo's got five assists in the game. Here's George. Ten points for him. And the Clippers call time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Changes here for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for James. And it's Avery Bradley in for Danny Green. And then for the Clippers, Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Harold. Andre Shamit comes in for Lou Williams. And it's Livingston in for Patrick Beverly. Yeah, and for mid range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot, he, he never loses his touch. Jumps up. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And that's the kind of play you just do not want to give up defensively. You, you lose the possession and give up a quick two at the other end. Now here's Rondo. Now the pass to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope against George. Lock at six. Caldwell Pope kicks to Kuzma. Bradley can't get it to go. Now here's Shamit. Guarded by Brent. Here's Green, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Rajon Rondo. The Clippers shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. The Lakers making a switch here. McGee's checked in, and the Clippers with a change here, too. Zubats is checked in for Leonard. That's off as well, so he misses both. Lakers trail by eight. Cousins, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Cousins. And he makes good on the way. Cousins has got seven points. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass first team player. It's Caldwell Pope. I love seeing that. Livingston kicks to Jordan. Shannon with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. They can use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Cousins. And the Lakers check on two more. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group pass. George against Caldwell Pope. And George, here we go, over Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope with some nice deep. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the Clippers. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. And the Lakers call time here. 
As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. some changes and Anthony Davis is checked in for Cousins. James comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope and it's green in for Avery Breath and the Clippers with a change here too. Patrick Beverly he's checked in for Sean Livingston. They grab their own miss and Davis can't get it to go. The scoring efficiency has been low and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Just reliable guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Here's George. Rebounded by the Lakers. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McKee letting it all hang out there. Count it. And 12 points for Paul George. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Four-point game. shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up Bit par for the course for James I mean he forces his man to overcommit gets the bucket and draws the foul he's gone two for two at the line so far and the Clippers making a switch here Free throw, no good for LeBron. Let's a floater go. Williams laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Williams has got four points now in the quarter. The third quarter comes to a close. Clippers lead by four. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, Beverly and Williams, the guard tandem. Andres Harrell is out there with Ivica Zubats, and it's Shamit in its small forward. Now here's Harrell, just four to shoot. A shot by Williams, no good. Beverly against James. Rondo with a clean look. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got three assists tonight. The Clippers in the lead. Beverly deciding where to go with it, and it's a defensive three-second violation. So he hits the technical free throw. Kevin, we always talk about it. I mean, those second-round picks who turn out to be gems, no one thought Williams would end up at the free throw line as much as he does. And the Lakers making a change here. Kuzma's checked in, and the Clippers with a change here, too. Leonard's checked in. Now here's Beverly. For three. 
Williams can't hit. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Here's Green. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Williams attacking. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. James misses. Clippers leading by four. Here's Leonard. The shot from the low post is good. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Hondo dishes to James. Outside, Green. Down low. And James with the basket on the assist by Davis. You know, LeBron James is so strong and able to finish through contact because of it. You've got to wrap him up. You've got to get him before he gets that ball up in the shooting motion because contact other than that doesn't bother him. And the Clippers call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. George, he's checked in for Zubas. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go, guys. Now here's Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Pass to Harold. He kicks to Williams. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Lakers trail by four. Here's LeBron, and LeBron throws it down. You cannot give James these types of opportunities. That guy is relentless. To the middle, here's George. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. A putback, Davis on the follow. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Now here's Leonard. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Green against Williams. And finished off by Davis. And after all that time, Finally, they've been able to tie it up here in the fourth quarter. What a comeback and what a finish we have in store. And their greatest enemy during that comeback was the clock. But they can finally stop worrying about time and start thinking about how to win this thing now. And George just has an uncanny knack for providing these kinds of baskets. And he makes it look so easy. Feeds it to Green. Takes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Green's got it all tied up now for the Lakers. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Inside, Carroll. And no good. Great D that time from Davis. James looking it over. To take the lead. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Here's Rondo. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Beverly, the pass to Harold. George, that's a two-pointer. Misses the jumper. And they're in position to take the lead. And how big would a bucket be at this stage of the game? Here's Williams, and Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground and becomes...
because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for the Lakers. And the Clippers call time here. is checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. Now, here's George. Takes the three. Kuzma pulls it in. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. And the Clippers call time here. They're trailing by two. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six seconds left in the game. From deep, George. Rajon Rondo with the rebound. I wonder if switching baskets really threw him off. I mean, because he can't get anything to fall this half. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. LeBron James. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And those free throws will mean a ton now. It makes it a two-possession game. George passes to Williams. On deep. And Davis pulls it down. So it's the Lakers who come out on top here. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing it. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, that'll do it, folks. Glad you could join us for the Western Conference semifinals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.